Hey, hey, it's Mega here, and uh, so I'm getting ready to install this NXT display. It's been a couple days since I've shot the last video, and uh, I chatted with Al Alan about, uh, had some questions to ask, uh, so um, he said he was, he ordered some GoPro mounts or something, but he hasn't got them yet, so that's why I didn't get one, I guess, so, um, but like I said, on the bike, uh, we might be able to mount it on the mount that I, my custom made mount already. So, um, we'll see if that works. I think, uh, yeah, we just need to find a bolt or something. To put it. Uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out when we get there. Um, also, he's, I asked him how waterproof this thing is, and he said it's, it's pretty water, waterproof if you put a gasket on it. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think what I'm going to wind up doing is putting a PC, so pretty much the only place I see that, you know, water could get in here is either, you know, the top of the screen here or this little, this kind of gap between the, 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 and the case here. So what I'm going to do is put a piece of uh, silicone tape around that. Okay, I got this from uh, Daiso for $1.50. You know, Hades Omega loves shopping at Japanese dollar stores. <laughs> um... Uh, I gotta make sure and buy some more of this stuff. Um, I use this to repair my my Garmin Etrex 20 uh, GPS a couple days ago. So uh, and uh, and it works pretty good. Um, it's very similar to another product called. Yeah. So it's pretty similar to a product called Rescue Tape. Okay, um, except this is a little wider. It's yeah, it's much wider. It's like well, it's a little bit wider. It's probably about half as wide. So um, we probably don't really need that, and it's it's a really kind of stretchy kind of silicone tape that uh, you it doesn't have any kind of adhesive on it. it. Like the silicone itself is adhesive, and it kind of just melts in the place sort of. So we're gonna try to use that. The only problem is I see uh, is that we won't be able to get a good wrap on it because this there's this uh, wire coming out of it right here. Um, and that looks like another place water could get into. So you, we could put a little, uh, uh, some silicone uh, RTV on that. Silicone uh, sealant on that too. So, um, yeah. So I, mean, I got to be able to get it wet, you know. Um, the, the gauges that are on the bike right now, they can get wet. I've gotten them wet, pretty wet, and they, they still run. So I, I definitely don't want to have a dead bike because... This thing got wet and it shorted out or something. So <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and try to put this around it. And then uh, I asked him about the uh, the harness. And he said, I have to use this harness. So I don't know. Um, you know, I'm sure people got different setups and stuff. But uh, he included this harness um, to replace the one that's on my bike. Because uh, I'm running the, uh, the Egg Rider right now. So um, he said, if I plug... If I plug this into the harness I have on the bike right now, it won't. It will, it'll blow it. So it'll it'll break something on the bike. So he said, "Don't do it." <laughs> um. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. He pretty much said, "Like, yeah, you just you know, install this." So I gotta. Kind of sucks. I have to go uninstall the old harness and and put this in. It's been a while since I've done it. So let's we'll see if Hades Omega can still do it. <laughs> and uh. And yeah, and then we're gonna, you know, we gotta chuck that egg rider, and uh, and install this. So uh, it doesn't seem it doesn't seem so hard. So that's good. So we're gonna try to do some waterproofing on it, and then we're gonna install the gauge, and then install the harness. Or maybe we should install the harness first. That way, that way we don't plug it in accidentally. You know. Um. So yeah, there's some stuff that I've done to my bike recently. Um. One of the things I'd done is uh, one of the bike? things I'd done is I fixed the turn signal on the bike. So you can see there's a kind of like a a red and black wire kind of sticking out here. So I kind of fixed that so it wouldn't you know 
get all messed up and stuff. It kind of sticks out a little bit. So, eh, you know, if a branch came in like this and snagged it, yeah, I could see it ripping it out, but I don't. Hopefully it won't. <laughs> but that looks pretty good. And this is, if you guys are wondering, this is my steering stop right here. <laughs> I think it's a piece of a furniture slider felt. Basically, all it is is like it just stops the, uh, it stops the, um, the fork from hitting the head. Um, hard anyways, so. Um, the other one has a piece of uh, wire there, like a, a wire harness, so that kind of acts as a pad too, so. Um, and also another thing I did is I uh, I made a on off switch for my uh, for my headlight. So you can see if I turn this on now, the headlight doesn't turn on. So before my bike was wired, uh, you know everyone's bike is going to be different than mine, I guess. But um, I have a special headlight that the previous owner installed. So um, whenever I turned it on before, the light pew, turned on. So. Uh, um, and I, you know, I don't really need the light in the daytime. I guess the good thing about having the light in the daytime is like, yeah, people can see you, but I'd rather save some power, you know, if I don't really need the light. You really only need it at nighttime. Um, so all I got to do, this is my old switch for my, uh, for my X controller. This, this is the switch that I, I don't even know where this wire goes. Um, so, but, uh, what I did is I, uh, I unscrewed it from the back, and then I uh, I unsoldered the two wires going to this switch here, and then uh, and I soldered a pair of wires, these two black wires here that I had in my like little electronics kit, and then I took the uh, uh, I unsoldered the black wire, the the ground wire, and then I hooked one one side up to one side and one side up to the the, wherever it's getting the power from so and then and then I closed it all up very carefully so um, yeah and then all I have to do is flip this switch and kerplam turns on so I think this lights about 18 watts so I know it doesn't sound like a whole lot of power but anything helps <laughs> I, I will be testing out to see how what kind of range we can get on this guy so but I, I think I feel that you know it makes sense to have an on off switch. I know in America we don't all our lights turn on automatically, but I'd rather save a little bit of electrons, you know. Um, just to get the most range. Okay, so anyway, also that switch didn't really do anything, so uh yeah, and also all my turn signals work again, so I got my left my right blinker. Been trying to fix some uh, some wiring stuff. I still haven't figured out what's wrong with my brake lights. I, f I think they're stuck on, so they look really bright, so. Okay, um, so the rear the rear light, you can't really see what you're direct, direct uh, you kinda can. Yeah, the rear lights, I don't really like. I basically, you're, you're going off of the reflection off the, the plate, you know? I gotta do something about that, but I don't really use the lights that much anyways. I, I just do hand signals. I feel that's it's easier, you know. Uh, so yeah, so those are the things that I did to this bike um, prior. Uh, another thing we're gonna have to do is uninstall the old sewer on gauge. So I want to get rid of all these extra gauges. We don't need them. This doesn't do anything. It it does turn on and it looks cool, but it doesn't do anything, you know. And this is where we're gonna we're gonna be installing the uh, uh, the NXT display. Um, hopefully, it doesn't get in the way of my RAM mount too for the. For the phone because I need this I need this when I do DoorDash so um, and then we're gonna have to take uh, the old egg rider display out and then um, so that will entail um, disconnecting uninstalling the handguard and pulling the grip off um, yeah so pretty much I've gotten pretty used to the regen being here so I'm just gonna leave that right there it's fine um, I notice when I if I'm working the regen for a long periods of time, like going down a hill, um, it uh it hurts my hand. So, but uh, but that's only for a long periods of time. If I'm just like you know working it, stop like the stop light, it's okay. So, but this is gonna stay here. This is gonna come off, and then this is gonna be moved this way. Okay, and then we're gonna remove this, and then I'm gonna try to trace it to somewhere wherever it goes in the harness, and I'm gonna remove it. Okay. Um, 
and then and it's just gonna be the NXT display that's gonna be I don't I don't I don't think this even eats up a lot of power but it's okay we'll just take it out um, and then we're gonna install our uh, um, well the, yeah the GoPro mount on the NXT right here okay so we're gonna put the two kind of plastic tabs um, one on the outside uh, one on the left and one on the right of this and it's going to be offset. It's not going to be in the center. It's going to be all the way to the left. I can probably, I might be able to scooch it a little bit more to the left because I'm trying to get this. I might be able to move the ram ball mount to the left a little bit too because this is towards the center also. So um, I got, I got some room for adjustment. That's a good thing. Uh, maybe I can move the ball mount over here too. So I can put different. I got a lot, a lot of space here. Maybe I'll add an extra ram mount right here. Um, but this is a lot smaller diameter than this, you know. Um, yeah, okay, so yeah, that's the preparation. So uh, so uh, I'll just go and do it, and then uh, I'll show you what I got. All right? All right, here's what we got. Okay, yeah, so the, the weather's going to be kind of, it's been hot the last couple days, and it's finally cooling down, and it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So um, I'm going to be working on this all day tomorrow. Hopefully we'll get it up and running. That means no no riding tomorrow. I'm not going to ride this thing in the rain. I don't, don't feel like doing any kind of performance testing in the rain. So, um, But yeah, so we'll get that NXT display installed and we'll install the, light, the light speed battery. Um, but that, you know, tomorrow we'll be just installing this stuff. And then uh, I will have a separate video on how to charge this guy with the light speed uh, variable amperage amp charger. So... Um, we'll charge it in a variety of scenarios, like uh, just you know, just plugged in, low amps, high amps, um, hooked up to a generator, hooked up to an inverter on my van. Um, yeah, those kind of stuff. If you can do all that kind of stuff, and you know, no problems, uh, it would be totally worth it because it makes it very versatile, especially compared to the stock, the stock one. Um, I, I wish, you know, at least the Sauron one, you could change the, what, it, what the charge rate is, you know. All right. Here's me up. That'll be a separate video. All right. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is some, uh, for the first thing that we're going to do for prepping for the install is, uh, uh, putting the, uh, putting a little silicone gasket around this guy. Now, we could use the sticky stuff and just, you know, goop it all around here but it would look kind of ghetto so um, I think Alan said he had some kind of gasket thing he has but he, seemed, he didn't send it to me so <laughs> that's what happened um, so I'm gonna I've had this this small little piece cut here of this uh, silicone tape that I got from Daiso dollar fifty you know his, his mega loves the Japanese dollar stores uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap that around here now it doesn't have any kind of adhesive, and it the really the way it's designed is to you've got a um, it sticks to itself basically. Okay, um, I think that's fine. We don't really need a really thick one, you know. Let's see how thick this is. Yeah, this is too thick. We'd have to cut some of it a little bit. So uh, I'm going to try and go ahead and use this. I use this to fix my Etrex 20 GPS. So so what we're going to do is kind of unfurl it. Yeah, I'll unfurl it all the way. Hopefully there's enough for the whole thing. It looks like it definitely looks like it. It looks like it it is and then some, okay. So we're gonna go take the plastic backing off of it. Okay. Peel that off. Make sure it doesn't touch each other because it it will stick to each other. Eee! It's really gonna stick to each other. And then we'll go to town on it. Let's start right here. Try and I'll try to keep the seam in the center. Okay. I don't know how sticky it is on there. We'll try to wrap it maybe twice. So the problem is gonna be going around this wire here. I guess what we can do is we can wrap it once around the wire. Oh no no no, that's not gonna work. Hmm. Okay, well we'll have to just go around it. Okay. 
This is tough. I wish that wire wasn't there. Let's see if I can pull this a little bit more. Okay, let's pull this nice and tight, and go around it, now it looks a little bit ghetto, but, okay, this time I'm going to go underneath the wire, okay, it's kind of like a rubber band, sort of. I'm going to use the whole length. It's really stretchy stuff. Okay. Stretch it up onto itself. Okay. I think that's good enough. We just kind of press on it. That should make a good seal. Looks okay, yeah? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, we could probably just put some electrical tape on it. Like I said, we could use some kind of glue, like an RTV. But this works good. As long as I don't really touch it too much. Okay. Looks like a tad on the ghetto side, but it's okay. And this will help keep water out of the connector, too. So I'm going to try to get them to touch each other somehow. Right here. Other than that, that's good. Okay, there we go. So that's the waterproof. Uh, I also wanted to mention, uh, Alan did say that uh, uh, there is a protective plastic on this. So that, that's why it looks kind of scratched up. There's a protective plastic that you can take off, and then that's the actual screen. So, all right. So, so there we go. Uh, that we're we're done prepping the NXT. So I think the next step is to start taking that old wiring harness out. Okay.